Hey, what's up, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So I just want to say I'm sorry that part three isn't uploaded yet. Um, I've just been really, really sick, honestly. I still kind of sound sick. I'm just getting over it. Um, so I apologize for sounding gross. But, um, yeah, I have a really funny story for you guys today to uh, hold you over. I promise part three will be out sometime this week. I just have to keep editing it, and the story kind of keeps unfolding, too. So, But today's story time is quite the ridiculous one. I hope you enjoy this or find it funny. If you do, please leave a like on the video. I would really appreciate it. But this story time takes place about a year and a half ago, okay? I was with a bunch of my friends at my friend's party that he was throwing at his house for his birthday. So it was my friend's birthday party. We're all having fun, celebrating, and there was a lot of people there. It got to the point where it was so big that some of the people there we didn't even know. Like, literally just plus ones who we've never seen before. And this one dude, the whole party, was so hammered, like, so shit-faced and drunk. He was being so obnoxious, like, everyone knew who he was because he was so fucking obnoxious. So towards the end of the party, we kind of lost sight of him for a while. Like, he went in the backyard to play beer pong, and we stayed in the kitchen just talking. So we didn't really see him for a while. But we saw him again soon enough. Don't worry, you'll hear about that in a second. So we were just hanging out in the kitchen, like I said, talking. Everyone else was mainly inside. Like I said, there was a few people outside playing beer pong, and that's where we thought he was. And I guess that's where he was for a while. But then he wandered off to another part of the backyard. I don't know how he fucking found it or like what happened for him to do this, but he found a fat skunk, like a fat ass wild skunk wandering around in the backyard. Now, I don't know if you know this about skunks, but they can spray you with stuff that smells like fucking garbage. It literally smells like you rolled around in a dumpster for four decades. It's not good. So you don't fuck with a skunk when you see one. If you see a skunk, turn around, walk the other way. Don't bother Mr. Skunk, because Mr. Skunk will fuck you up. He'll fuck your whole day up. Fuck your whole goddamn week up. That shit doesn't come out of your clothes easily. So anyway, he sees a skunk, and Mr. Dumbass Drunk Guy thinks it's a good idea to pick the fucking skunk up. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but, you know, I think a lot of you do. Skunks don't want to be held by us. They want to be fucking left alone. Hence why they fuck your day up if you try and touch them or mess with them or scare them. But he picks the skunk up, and it doesn't spray him. I don't know why it trusted that guy so much, but it didn't spray him. And he walks over to the sliding glass door, and we see him holding this fat fucking skunk in his hands and goes, Yo, guys, look, look, I found a skunk. And I was just like, oh, my fuck. Guys, nobody opened the door. Nobody opened the sliding glass door. He is outside with a fucking skunk in his hands right now. And, of course, immediately everybody gathers around me at the sliding glass door to see him and, you know, watch him hold the skunk. And I see everybody behind him outside that was playing beer pong. They just scattered away. They fucking ran away to the front yard because they were so afraid of that skunk spraying. So we're all just watching him. And my friend who was throwing the party goes, dude, put the skunk down. Like he's yelling it through the door. He's like, put it down. And he's pointing at the ground. And the guy's just laughing, like smiling, shaking his head no. And I was like, dude, seriously, put the fucking skunk down. And I'm pointing to the ground basically saying like, dude, put that thing down. It's going to fucking spray you. And he wasn't listening. So my friend cracks the sliding glass door open just a little bit terrible idea don't do that he fucking cracks the door and goes bro put the skunk down and he screams it and the guy goes <laughs> no he's my friend and of course right when he finished that sentence i see the skunk's tail it goes up and it fucking sprays him all over the neck and i was like oh my and i start running so i'm like fuck no fuck no that sliding glass door is cracked open some of that just went in here i know it i can just tell by the smell already fuck that and I ran out the front door and I went to the front yard and I was in tears I was just laughing I'm like bro he just got fucking destroyed by that skunk and my friend runs out everyone else runs out from the party I've never seen a party clear so fast everybody runs to the front yard one of my friends is coughing because he was right by the door when it happened but luckily the skunk juice or whatever the fuck they produce didn't get in the house from what I was hearing from my friend I guess just the smell was so strong that it kind of you know went into the house it smelled like it was in the house but it wasn't but the backyard holy shit it reeked and I didn't get to see it but apparently after it sprayed him I started running way too quick I was out of there the minute I saw it spray him but after he like registered that it sprayed him he just dropped the skunk and it fucking scurried away like he just ran away <laughs> because like I would too if I had a bunch of people crowding around me like I was some fucking zoo attraction so anyway, skunk ran away, so did like everybody in the party, and I'm sitting there dying, and my friend's so freaked out, he's like, dude, I'm fucked, like, my house smells like skunk, I don't even know how to get that smell out of my house, what the fuck, and then I see the guy, I see the guy from the backyard walk up to the front yard, 
and the whole front yard starts smelling like skunk because he's covered in this shit. Like, he's covered in the spray from the skunk. And we're like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Leave. Seriously, like, get the fuck out of here. He's like, well, what do I do? How do I get the smell off me? It's disgusting. I'm like, I know what you do. Don't pick up skunks. They're fucking skunks for a reason. Don't touch them. He's just like, well, I did. What do I do? I'm like, bro, walk to the corner store and hope they have tomato juice because if they don't, you're fucked. He's just like, okay, I'll be right back. And he left. And shortly after that, I ended up leaving because I didn't really feel like staying at the party that much longer. Uh, the skunk smell was pretty annoying. And a lot of people thought the same thing and ended up leaving too. So I went home and I ended up finding out the next day from my friend that the dude who got sprayed by the skunk came back. And he had the tomato sauce or whatever. And he like dumped it on himself and like bathed in that shit. And I don't know if it helped or not. I'm guessing it did because that's like what people use for skunk smell from what I've heard. But I guess more of the story is... If you see a fucking skunk on the ground, walk in the other direction. Leave that motherfucker alone. Skunks don't fuck around. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much the story. Like, literally just fastest way to ruin a party. I've never seen a party clear out so quick. But yeah, guys, if you thought the story was funny and enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate it. Leave your guys' stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all later. Peace.